Hello everyone, welcome back to a day in the life of us, Ellie and I. Um, it is a hot, hot, hot day, um, and plans for the day are have a shower. That's the first thing on the agenda because we're boiling. And then I think we're going to take dogs for a little walk. Uh, and then Ellie will go home and go to work, and I will stay here and kill myself. Only joking. I will stay here and probably apply for some jobs. <laughs> and I'm all. Shut up. Um, I'm feeling quite ill today. Uh, my throat's all phlegmy and shit, and obviously my allergies aren't helping. So we'll just see what happens Are you today. Right yeah, I'll be fine going for a walk. Just um, I don't I don't want to be ill because I'm not normally ill. So. No, like, I feel like when you when you get a bit ill, you only like funny for a couple of days, and then you yeah, you but it, it tends to be quite bad actually. when I'm ill. It tends to be quite Whereas bad. Whereas when I get ill, I'm ill for like a week. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's because you're a, a weakling, your vegan diet. No, I'm not. I haven't been ill since I've been vegan. <coughs> Why are you burping, vegan cretin? <laughs> Come on, Coco. Come on. Let's catch up. Look, they're already steaming on ahead. What a beautiful day it is today. Are you happy? I can tell by that wagging tail. I'm surprised Cracker doesn't get really hot in his long hair. Mm. Like, you can't tie his back. I didn't realise dogs stopped wanting to go for walks. I thought going for walks was like hardwired into dogs. Cracker, did you have to shit right there? When you just started the walk. Hey Els, I got a present for you. Oh god, it stinks. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, in a spooky forest. Led only by one courageous dog. Oh, we're, we're in the lead now. Oh dear, Cracker. <laughs> Come on, buddy, you can keep walking. He just seems to enjoy tagging along behind a bit. <laughs> what a silly boy. Come on, Cracker. Let's go. We're all the way over here. He's nowhere to be seen. I'm looking for jobs at the moment. Um, uh, by the way, Ellie's gone home. Um, and I'm really struggling. There don't seem to be many around Gosport, which is annoying. And the ones that are re reasonably placed for me to like afford to, to go, I don't want to go to a job too far away for me to be earning any money from it because I'm spending all my money to get to the job. There's no point in that. Um, but like, there's some good ones over there, like at Tesco. The problem is it would end at midnight, which is after the buses end, and so I'd have no way of getting home except walking unless I had a bike. Uh, and I don't particularly want to cycle all the way from Fair, and that is quite far. I mean, I would, but like, I need to get my bike fixed first. So it's just, just a bit of a pain, you know. I've come across another problem is that. Like, I'm really not down here for that long. I've got, like, it's nearly July. I've got the whole of July here, and then half, well, not half of August, but most of August. And then, but then I'm going back up to Bangor. So, getting a job, temp, like, it, even a temp job is, is difficult when you're not around for a long time. And I know I want to really try and get a job in Bangor when I'm back, uh, like, during term time. That way I can get some more money through there, get some experience and stuff. But I'm not sure if anywhere will accept me um, this late on. Uh, just because I don't, I wasn't, haven't been around enough. Um, also, like, there is a there is a job that's a litter pick. I get, like, £60 a day. It's only for 10 days. Like, it's, it's just a litter picking at a festival. But I don't know where the festival is. It says Gosport, but I'm not entirely sure that's true. Because I can't remember there being a Gosport festival anytime soon that's 10 days long. Um, and apparently with that I'd have to camp on site, which is just a bit stupid to me. So I mean, I, I could inquire about that and see where where it's going to be, because then I could technically just do it from home, like come home in the evenings um, and sleep here and then go out again during the day, because it's like, I think it's like eight hour days. Um, I do get breaks so. And free entry to this festival, but I don't have a clue if this festival is going to be good or not. It's all just a bit higgledy piggledy, you know? I've got a really trashy looking curry here. Uh, it's like a, a, a smart price, but all I've eaten today is like donuts, so I need something semi worthwhile, I guess. The rice is really wet. I have just been informed by Dad that he's coming home later this evening, um, but he's had a stressful few days, so I think I'm on cleanup crew right now. Uh, to try and tidy things up a little bit, make it a bit easier for Dad when he comes home. So, uh, sorry if I can't film what I'm doing, because I'm going to have my hands full. Also, just to confirm, yes, it's still fucking sweltering. 
not having the funnest of times with this heat right now. And of course I'll have to go outside <laughs> as soon as I complain about the heat to go and shut the back gate because the dogs took ages to come back from exploring the woods when mum got in. So mum just left them to their own devices. So, uh, here we go. Nice and secure. TV printed out, so I think uh, like Ollie wants to go to the car just up the road, and he said like about a week ago they were asking around like they're, they're, they're offering jobs. So I'm gonna bring it up just in case um, they are still offering, and I will give this to them. See what happens. Holy crap! So I completely forgot about this until just now. Um, CRX said they were releasing a song today, and they have released it. It's called Love Me Again, which we already knew. And we'd even heard a snippet of it before. But um, I've just listened to the song. And now I can actually give a, a like, in-depth my thoughts on it. The weird thing about this song is, well, I really like it. First of all, it's very, very different. And it sounds very different. In, it's not, it's still punchy, but it's not a kind of like... It's kind of more flowing than previous CRX stuff, like from New Skin. Um, but I can definitely say that it feels very voidsy, and it definitely doesn't feel like Nick. It more feels like Nikolai, and it seems like the kind of song I could see Summer Moon doing, which is kind of weird. But I, I, I really enjoy it. Um, I kind of am annoyed that they haven't got past the like three words for a catchy chorus like they, Nick's uh, like songwriting ability is obviously in this song at least not changed since New Skin and that, that's kind of a bit disappointing but it's quite a simple song but maybe that's what they're going for I guess but it does definitely sounds more Summer Moony than CRX because Summer Moony is a, is a way to describe things but I, I thought the song was really good especially after the first lot of Love Me Again's the second time around, it becomes a lot more like uh, catchy, in my opinion. It, it's the bit that we heard when we, they first teased the song. I think I think the song was really good. Uh, I'm I'm not sure if I'm hoping that more of their stuff will be a bit different, or if they'll go back to what their previous album was like, and it was kind of mostly happy stuff. Hello. Okay. Did you hear the dogs yapping at me, brushing the floor? Annoying. I hate them. <laughs> I don't hate them. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Maybe the lyrics get better. In other news, yeah, I just got back from um, dropping off my CV at a shop. Just a car up the road. Um, apparently they've closed their submissions, even though the sign for application was still up. Um, but I've given it to them anyway. They said, um, like, just in case there's any other opportunities that come up, they will keep on to it. So that's pretty good. I have got loads of freckles coming through. I don't know if you can tell. My arms look a lot frecklier than normal, so I don't know if that's the same with my face. I haven't really had a look. Hips tired. I'm kind of tired, actually. Cracker's over there having a fun time by himself. Uh, and, um, yeah, not sure about this whole finding a job malarkey. Really kicking myself that I didn't go for this one earlier because I knew about it for about a week. What? What is it? Oh. That. You mean to play with you, don't don't you? For fuck's sake. Every time! Why can't you just be a normal dog and not play all the time? It's like you want chicken, but not real chicken. You wanna just play with fake chicken. You're a weird cracker. Now I've listened to one CRX song. I'm just listening to them all. We have a family plan. We're gonna go down to the beach and eat our dinner down there. Mum's roasted a chicken. And I've been roasted enough today, so it's good to see something else being roasted. You excited? You excited? We're gonna go to the beach to eat things. This is fun. Walking along with bags and mum and dad. And the pups. Got a good evening. It's looking beautiful. Oh, we also got all the way down to the beach and we forgot the wine. So I'm going to go back and get it now. Great. As for what wine it was that I forgot, or well, we forgot, that's none of your bees knees. Cracker. Cracker. He looks very nice with the golden sun then. Cracker. 
Rebecca. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hello, poodle. You can't have my salad. No. Ooh. Isn't this nice? I mean, apart from when they're barking their heads off. Come mm. with mine with tomato. Sorry? With mine with tomato. Did you Probably not get any tomatoes? still at the bottom. But I didn't oh. mix it very well. Yeah, I can see some tomatoes. Looks all cozied up to you. Oh, sweet pea. Well, I had a lovely dinner. Did you too? Oh, yes, thank you, Tommy. That's good. Those two are excited to get home. I reckon they had an awful time. They had chicken and skin. And skin? Wow, that chicken sounds so. Skin. Chicken and skin. Not necessarily chicken skin. Just <laughs> any kind of skin. Any skin. Yum. Oh, did you have a nice tea? You look quite full and fat. hard eating off your lap on the beach but we made we made do and had a lovely time i'm so tired actually now i just need to wait around for ellie's finish work i'll get over there i've printed off my park run stuff for the morning so we can go for a run um and uh then i'll be going straight to sleep i'm shattered um got a long day tomorrow mum's going wing walking which is pretty cool i need to charge my camera that's what i need to do i found a hungry monkey I'm not getting anything, which is very brave of me, I feel. But you're getting a large, spicy, veggie paint meal. Uh, <laughs> veggie Dulux, as Ellie says. It's Dulux. Dulux like the dog. Dulux like the dog indeed, but after that, guys, I'm sorry. I always forget to round up the vlogs on the day that they are. Uh, I'm kind of an idiot for that, but um, yeah, this is the end of the vlog. Uh, like... I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I, I had a great day talking about like hearing CRX's new song. I got to talk about it a bit. Let me know what you guys think about the song in the comments. If anyone watches this video anyway, and <coughs> obviously uh, I had a great time in the evening going out for like I didn't film much of it because it was like nice to just have some family time. But eating on the beach was sick. I do that again tomorrow. So make sure you, you watch that vlog. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. That way you see every single day of my life, all the events I get up to, all the cool shit I do with my family, with my friends, with Ellie, uh, my girlfriend. Obviously, I'm not just going to call her Ellie. Friend zone much. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next daily video. Until then, make sure you stay safe. Have a good one. Love you lots. Bye for now. <laughs>